Um, okay, so before we move on here, chat, I feel like there's just some kind of community things that I want to clear up here, okay? And it's going to be basically, it's going to basically be the, be a fan art roundup, okay? Because I'm noticing a, uh, worrying trend with the, with the fan art of this community. So I'm just going to lay out some guidelines so as to avoid all confusion from this point on. <sighs> okay, chat, look, there's been more fan art. And, um... I just want to do a little review and cover the do's and don'ts of creating fan art of the final gamer, okay? So this first one comes from Kerbis Gab, and Kerbis has actually done two pieces of fan art. Um, and as we can see, he has depicted, uh, again, again, for some reason, depicted the moment of me at the strip club, okay? He, he's done another also depicting me at the strip club, alright? Uh, chat, I'm fucking blue in the face saying this, okay? When you do fan art of me, it should be me doing awesome things, okay? Um, here's some suggestions. Uh, riding a motorcycle. Saving a bunch of children from, like, a tree that's on fire. Um, uh, winning some kind of dance competition, Okay? Uh, it should not be stuff like this. I don't understand why this keeps happening, okay? Um, let me think of some other things. Winning a contest for being beautiful. That's, that's the one you could do. Um, any of my awesome game feats. Like, um, that time I beat Emerald Weapon when I was, like, like, 14 or something. Um, when I beat Sans on stream. Just anything that's, like, me being, like, a cool person all right does that make sense because like we keep getting stuff like this um and it, it's not on like i'm telling you right now it's not on okay uh here's another one and this is from um this is from zombie toast okay and i i really didn't appreciate this okay uh so this is the moments from the omicron stream where we learned that the bombs don't reset with the timer. And then he has illustrated me lying down, trying not to cry, and then crying a lot. The chat, like... We need to be thinking about branding and how we're coming across to outsiders. This makes me look weak when we all know that's the opposite of what I am. Okay? John Coin is plummeting. Yeah, abs absolutely. So, like, I say so many cool things on these streams, and I'm so rad. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. <sighs> oh god, no! No, no! No! No, no, no! No! I, pr I press it instead of fire! I press down instead of fire! No! No! Back up! Back up! Uh, uh... <laughs> things why do people just do fan art like this it doesn't make any sense super weak pa super weak wolf see see it's already started it's already fucking started emotional vulnerability is sexy i don't care little shortle anyway just wanted to update everyone with that little community notice there um only fan art of me being fucking rad from now on okay that that's it that is it I don't want to have to start banning three people from Twitch. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Uh, Kerbis Gab here. I'm so happy that you enjoyed the drawing. I was def and will definitely take into account. Definitely take into account that you said. And won't. And won't is in capitals. Draw another moment from the strip club story. Giving. Um, giving. I promise. Okay. Well, let me tell you, uh, Kerbis Gab. That is a huge relief to hear. Because I have been nothing but stressed out about that. Okay, I, I, that's, yeah, so by Patch Wolf. See, it's already, it's already started. I always cry when watching your streams cry, Patch Wolf. Okay, well, uh, I rest my case. I rest my case. This is, this is not final gamer content. This is, uh, my identity has been bastardized online and I'm, I'm not going to let it happen anymore. Okay, that's just, that's it. Okay, let's get going here. How, f how familiar are people with Illbleed? 
Nah. Okay. Oh. Nah. Oh. Chat. You are in for a fucking trip. Okay. So there's a very special... Uh, there's a very special kind of vibe a game can have. I call it Dreamcast energy. Illbleed is the game with the absolute most Dreamcast energy out of anything I have ever played. It's a weird obtuse game that's like very, very difficult to get your head around and to even understand what to do. So I think a certain amount of this stream is going to be me getting my shit rocked for a little bit. And that's fine. Here we go. Can someone time stamp the time stamp the jump scare? I don't think the jump scares in Ill Bleed are that bad. Unfortunately, they cannot be time stamped because they are gameplay. Rel I I I don't think they're that bad. Like they're not. They're just stupid shit. It's yeah. Oh chat! I have been dreaming about playing this for a while I, 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 on stream. For as long as I can remember, my family ran what we called a horror caravan. We hauled this house of horrors around from town to town, trying to give people a new thrill, a new nightmare. I kind of like traveling, but all that gruesome gore got to me after a while. My dad was always conjuring up new devices, tricks, and traps, each one scarier than the last. The gameplay just a little <laughs> Guess bit. we tried them out on. Yep, me. No, no. I guess it toughened me up a little. I mean, you have to be brave to walk through a den of snakes or try to avoid trap doors to make it to your room. I was a pretty fearless kid by the time I was five, thanks to my fearsome father. He fed on others' fears and was never satisfied. My mom couldn't stand how obsessed he'd gotten, so she thankfully divorced him when I was six. Yet I had gotten attached to horror. I remember how that good old Halloween pillow and a hot red water bath soothed me. I think I might major in child psychology. So that was her speech for the annual speech competition. So, how'd I do? That was great! I mean, you're the head of the Horror Research Club and... President of the Student Council! It's a given! You win this speech contest for sure! Randy Fairbanks and Kevin Kirstman. What, Michelle? Why didn't you listen to Erico's speech? I don't need to. I know she'll win. Here, take a look at this. Those are guest invitations to Ilbly. How'd you get them? From a Pepco promotion. Cool. Look, we can win a hundred million bucks there. Yeah. A hundred million dollars is what you get no for completing this I'm theme game park. If you are. Sure thing. I'm with you. <laughs> what about you, Erico? I think I'll pass. It sounds too good to be true. Why? You just said in your speech to conquer your fear and surpass the odds. Come on, we can test your theory. Sounds like we're trying to be superheroes or something. It's no biggie. It's just a house of horrors. Probably full of cheesy props and gags. Which proves what's so weird about this. How can a funky place like that afford a hundred million dollar reward? Who knows? Maybe they'll make it take so long to get through it, everyone will give up, go home, and the horror honchos will end up with a lot of free publicity. Or else the whole thing is a hoax, and they don't have the money at all. I agree with him. I'm down with that. I'm not voting. Or going. For real? Are you positive? You sure? Yep, you heard me. 
Okay, your highness. Then we three humble slaves shall bring back the 100 million dollars, and you'll be sorry. I can't wait to commune with the undead. I'd use the money for a chainsaw and hack my way into fame and fear. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, brother. Okay, then. We'll catch you later, Eriko. Let's, Let's go! go! I feel like this game is strange in a way that I hope someone makes a spiritual sequel to this in the same way RZ is a spiritual sequel to the Zelda games. Look at that PNG. Hundred mil if he wants a chainsaw. Listen, side character 101, he's not a very clever person, okay? Excuse me, did you see three high school kids around here three days ago? They had special invites. What? <laughs> this seems fine. Eriko is Rouge the Bat from Sonic Adventure 2. <gasps> I knew there was something unbelievably attractive about her. Okay. Um, so figuring out how this game works is in itself a baffling process that we're gonna figure out here. So we're gonna just have a little explore around and just see what the deal is. So here is the pharmacy. Um, it is run by this doll. Do you want to buy items? Not now, thank you. This is the Dummy Man's Photo Studio. Want to take a souvenir photo? Sure. And I guess, okay, this is how we save the game. That's cool. Why does it say we've been playing for 42 minutes? Hold up, is this an unironic game? Um, this is one of those games... I don't think this is an ironic game. I Now, I think they knew they were making something silly, but they knew they were making something silly in like 1999. So basically, where we are right now is a kind of hub world. We're not in the actual meat and potatoes game yet. I'm obsessed with this and also the ring, Terra's Realm. I've never played the ring. I would like to, though. There it is. The environments do just have a bit of a vibe, don't they? Like, I don't know. I, I love shit like this. It's crazy that this is the game you decided to play after Omicron. How much do you know about Illbleed? Are you familiar with the basics or mostly blind? Stone Gladius, I am... I, I am familiar with a lot about it, but it's been a while. I know, I know that there's shit I have to do to basically even activate the, the gameplay. So for some reason, the way Ill Bleed works is you have to know to come up here, right? I think it's up here. Oh, no, just to be clear, chat, Ill Bleed is a way better game than Omicron. That, that's, let's not, let's not get it twisted here. Let's not get excited and start saying weird shit. Ill Bleed is awesome. I am playing this game out of love. Now, it is a weird and kind of broken game, but it's also great. So this base, this area is basically like a tutorial section. Um, and we will start looking into this now. Okay, that's lesson five. Let's start at lesson one. Lesson two. Where is lesson one? Okay, so we just found this invisible item called the Horror Monitor, and the Horror Monitor is actually the central driving mechanic we will be experiencing this game through. If you had just bought this game and didn't know to come to this exact spot and find this monitor here, you would be at a total loss as to what was happening. 
Welcome to Illbleed. I'm Michael Reynolds. I'll show you the most important thing for you to survive. Please go forward and to the right. I can seal the horror monitor where you stand now. All of your four senses on screen are the proof of the item. When the sensor reached their peak, press the A button to obtain the horror monitor. By pressing the OR trigger, you can use the horror monitor. Take a look at the tombstones behind you with it. There may be something hidden there when it zooms in. Place a warning mark there by pressing A. So this is how the game works, right? You look at things in first person. And then when it zooms in, you press A to place a spirit marker. I don't know. And then I think you can go over and check if you found anything. There was nothing there. And the way you know that stuff is there is that your sight, hearing, smell, and sixth sense will start going crazy. So if we go over here, everything seems normal. We're not picking up on anything supernatural. Okay, our sixth sense went off there for a second. That means something's nearby. Oh, we got something. Now searching strange objects. So let's place something there. Check it out. And we found an injection. Oh, we're, we're sensing something else strange though. This game is basically a horror minesweeper. What senses go wild? What senses go wild hint at what the object is? Oh, okay, that's a really good tip, thank you. Oh. Hassi obtained. So these guys have another game called Blue Stinger. And Hassi is also the uh, the drink in Blue Singer Stinger. From Stone Gladi or from Side Character 101, um, you have to call it the spooky jump scare before the spooky jump scare scare you. That is what this game is. Um, you should avoid damaging shock events during attractions by warning the area before approaching. The adrenaline gauge in the lower left hand corner will decrease each time you use the horror monitor. So we only have so much adrenaline before we are left vulnerable. When your sixth sense is active, it means that there may be items or enemies nearby. I hid items of beneficial to you. Go check them out and use them wisely. Go ahead and good luck. And that is basically the tutorial of the game complete. Now, it is time for us to go into the actual world of Illbleed and take on the horrors that lie there. Okay, so the cinema zone, this is where the levels all are. So we have the home run of doom. We have... Does it say the name of it? No, it doesn't say. So this is, this is one of the movies that's coming. And then I think the other two up here are also... Boogie's Fun Movies, Hall of Resentment, Shock It To Me Theater, and Child Palace. I don't want to go to Child Palace. Michael Reynolds Museum, and I'm guessing this is the final area. So the only place we can go right now is the Home Run Derby. Do you want on to enter the home run of death? Yes. You play a sport, a game, knowing full well that you're going to either win or lose. You never expect to die before your dreams come true. Neither did Jimmy or his father, Gail Banbalo a Minnesota innkeeper. He set up a secret baseball practice arena in the basement of his inn, 
where he and his son practiced day after day. Jimmy's hard work and batting skills finally led his team to a state victory. It started out a crisp spring day, but before Jimmy could go outside to play, he and his dad went downstairs to bat the ball around a few times. Upstairs, some teenagers had been playing with fire, turning the inn into a raging blaze that was soon out of control. The inn was a total loss, and so was Jimmy, burned in minutes. Mr. Banbala was so badly maimed, he turned into a hideous monster, oozing and bleeding, snarling and growling like a beast, enraged and bent on revenge. He tracked down the kids responsible for the fire and killed them. The voice is low, gotcha. With a blowtorch. That wasn't enough for Bambalo. He won't leave his inn or his memories, so there he waits, in ambush. Okay, we can win $50,000 for doing this. That will be hard, because this game is hard. And we're going to choose Eriko. Oh, look at the design of this. It's fucking great. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we enter. Okay, so now we're seeing that we're getting some 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 activity on the site monitor, which means going into first person. Oh, I forgot that we have to find. Oh no, I forgot that we actually have to find the horror scope again, don't we? You have to find it once per level, if I'm not mistaken. And that's what that that that's a jump scare in this game. I don't even know that you can avoid this damage. If I remember right, it's somewhere over here. Or maybe up here? Nothing special found. Nothing special found. Porch on the right, I believe. Yeah, I think it's somewhere here. Got it. Okay. So now we should be able to basically minesweeper the traps away. Okay. Something's triggering our sight sense. See, if we get too close to it, it's going to go off and scare us. Oh, but that looks suspicious. Let's let's see if we got it. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, so that means we successfully disarmed a scare. But here's one of the problems with this game. Because we disarmed the scare, we now don't get to see what the scare was. Oh, shit! As you can see, we're going to be getting scared a lot because this game is insane. Okay. Okay, that thing over there is definitely going to scare us. We're getting a we're getting a hearing sense, which means the phone is going to scare us. Okay, we disarmed the spooky phone, but now we're also getting a sixth sense. So I was waiting for something there to happen, I just realized it won't. Okay, I'm actually, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Okay, let's continue down this terrifying hallway. We're getting a strong sixth sensed feeling. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. K 
Okay, we're smelling something. Oh, jeez. The smelly blood got all over me. Okay, we're getting sight again. Oh, so that one I've gotten before. Basically, the lamp explodes when you walk into it. Okay, what do we got in here? Okay, we got that. And then it looks like something over here as well. And maybe something over there as well. Let's see how we get on. Something is definitely going to go off over there. Yeah, that is wrong. Okay, I'm not getting any hearing, so I don't think that anything's... Oh, jeez! Just a giant fucking hand! Isn't that always the way? And I know there's a bunch... Okay, well, something is definitely there. Okay, our heart is beating very fast. And we're running out of adrenaline, which means we're finding ourselves in a in a not great position. And I think there's some, a weapon pickup somewhere around here. So what happens if you lose? Do you just die of a heart attack? Uh, I think that's one of the ways you can lose. There's also actual combat in this game. Oh shit, that was not one. Oh, we're nearly out of adrenaline. Oh, yes! Home run bad obtained. Oh no! Get out to the training field now! Hey, you're not Jimmy! 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 Okay, so that's a pretty good start. And let me think. I think we came in through that doorway. Which means going out through this doorway. Okay, we are very low on adrenaline, so we gotta be careful. Damn it, that was not a point. Pretty sure six senses for items. It's in the tutorial it said items and enemies. But yeah, you're probably right. Okay, this is the actual combat. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, this is a dummy. As we can see, it knows karate. But we have our bat. And we can call for the helicopter to come rescue us inside this mansion. Yes, okay, we defeated him. Yeah, he does have a nice leg kick. Okay, let's see here. What a nice menu. Filled with made adrenaline. Inject back into the back of the neck. Mild recovery of adrenaline. Let's do it. Ah, okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, you were right, Stone Gladius. The sixth sense does help with items. Relaxation CD. Okay, we got another something nearby. Complaint project. Oh god! Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Please rescue me, helicopter! Oh god, what am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? They're beating the shit out of me! No helicopter, don't fly away! Please! Oh, I wish they didn't know karate! 
Erica, the, it's right there! It's right there, just grab it! Strength empty. Dead. Your total prize is... I mean, $3,000, $3,000. Hope you enjoyed this attraction. Your prize money will contribute to the Michael Rennes Relief Funds. Thank you for your cooperation. Game over. Huh. Um, now, chat, you have some idea with what we're dealing with. <laughs> Lion96, the power of 3,000-year-old martial arts. Yo, guys, the final episode of... Uh, versus wolves came out an hour ago. Uh, uh, listen, I don't, 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 don't tell people that. Okay, it, it's we're we're having a nice time here. Are you playing this on a legitimate Dreamcast? I actually am. Um, as everyone knows, emulation is illegal, and I don't uh, believe in it. So here's my official Dreamcast controller. Um, yeah, just yeah. Uh, if you've ever emulated anything in your life, you're a criminal, and if I had the option to throw you in jail, I genuinely would. I would do I would come to your house, I would drag you from your home as your family scream in the background, I would take you to prison, and I would shut the key behind you. Will you let me take the emulator into prison? I will. I will, underdog keep, because I'm not a monster. Okay, so we know from experience that there's something over here. Shit. Okay, there's only one of them, so I'm just gonna kick its fucking ass. Come on! It's thousand-year-old dubby martial arts are no match for being beaten to death with a baseball bat. There we go. Okay, I need some health back. So, could I have avoided that confrontation if I had identified it? Yeah, I think it does actually have a block. Someone in chat just said, The One-Eyed Wolf of the Emerald Isle. That's from F Phoenix. Um, I'm going to demand that everyone call me that from now on. I'm scared I'm going to get in another fight. Should I... See, the problem is if you tag everything, then you just run out of adrenaline real fast. But this should keep us alive through this bit. Okay, we got a relaxing mind CD. God damn it! Oh, jeez, here they are. Um, okay, do a dodge button. What's the dodge button? Uh, chat, it's not, it's not dodging. Oh, there we go. Erica, sweetie, please get to the fucking helipad. Okay, the dodge button is kind of working. But it's also not. Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, they're body slamming me, chat. They're, they're literally hurling their death bodies at me. So, I'm not sure the addition of the dodge to our repertoire made a huge difference, chat. You had the dodge though, I- chat? No, not new game! No, god fucking damn it. Oh. Something has gone wrong. Uh Okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to reset my Dreamcast here, which is going to involve uh reaching down 
and pressing the reset button. Done. Everyone heard that click? That 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 made sense, right? Okay. We need to figure out a way to get past those stupid fucking dummies. Like, are we just gonna have to beat the shit out of them? Because that's sort of, that's what it's starting to feel like. Ah, oh, God. Okay. Okay. Where? 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 Oh, yeah, we can just dodge forever. But, but we also must attack. It cannot be 100% a defensive art. God, how does this dummy know karate? Like, is he just some vengeful spirit in a haunted house and he had nothing to do for like 20 years? So he was like... Time to learn the sacred arts of bare-fisted combat. No. Oh, he fell apart. Nice. Okay, nice and slow. This time. Apollo. Build purple and drink it to raise adrenaline slightly in the brain. Swallow chewing. Swallow without chewing as it may explode. Fully relax relaxes pulse fully. We may need that. Okay, so far, so good. There's the relaxation CD. God damn it! Please! Okay, now I'm gonna run to the ends. I'm gonna let these fucking idiots do what they're gonna do and then call for the helicopter. Okay, now run to the end. Oh, Erica's wounded. That's bad. And now run back. Call for the helicopter. Oh god, it's it's hopeless. Oh, I've nearly got it. I've nearly got it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm the best. I am the I am the world ill bleed champion. No one can stop me. It's impossible that I could ever lose at this game. Okay, we have no healing items, and we really need some healing items. Final gamer mo- classic final gamer moments. The odds are stacked against me. I- uh, I could coward out, but I don't. I- I push through. I exceed all challenges. I destroy every video game. I am the final gamer. The emperor of video games. So the helicopter extracts you and then leaves you back at the same place. Listen, Lord Dude 4042, if if you're just going to be negative about what is essentially a perfect video game, I don't know that we want you here. Yeah, it's very self it's a very simple explanation. Nothing special. God damn it. Please, please give me my steak dinner. No, I don't need an injection. I need a steak dinner. Uh, Hibernian scholar, thank you for the subscription. Final Gamer takes on the true form, an injured little girl. Um, I'm going to assume that's some kind of compliment I don't understand. Okay. What? Wait, no! No! What just happened? Did she die of a heart attack? Final gamer moment. Dr. Gramble, I'm assuming you meant earlier. Oh, th this is a... 
This... This is a video game! This is certainly a video game. Bled out, okay. Probably from the injury. Okay, I understand. So then we go down here. Oh, let's inject, inject the adrenaline into the back of our neck. Uh, let's get some hit points back. Stop marking items, it's wasting adrenaline. But how do I know... How do I know what... How do I know what to mark and what not to mark? So is there any way I could have avoided that or was I just doomed? Oh, okay. So he falls back, he attacks me. I dodge. One, two, three. I dodge. One, two, three. I dodge. One, two, three. I Oh, he hit me. He hit me. I dodge and avoid his karate kick. One, two, three. I whooped his fucking ass, chat. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, we need to calm the fuck down immediately. Relax his pulse fully. I think we need this right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there's two things going off. How do I know which is the correct one? I guess from dying? You don't. Okay. I'm gonna go for this one because I have plenty of adrenaline right now. Nothing special found. So then it has to be the other one, right? So we learned that in this hallway... In this bit, just before the corner... There is an item here. That's okay. That is where the the Ampale is. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Oh, it's the sixth sense you don't have to mark. Okay, I, I understand. Okay, I misinterpreted that. So with the sixth sense here, we should just be able to mash. I'm not getting anything. Maybe up here. Ah, there's the relaxing mind CD. Okay. Okay, we're making progress. Oh, uh, we're not making progress. We're about to fucking die. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I can take the two of them. So I'm going to try and get out of here. But... Oh, okay. That's bad. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, yeah. Just, just run. Just run. Call it, Erica. Call it. What the fuck is the wrong with the guy driving the helicopter? Like, is he really like, mm, well, those two wooden dummies are still beating her to death, but she doesn't wave her, she's not waving her arms anymore and she's not standing on the green square. So really, who am I to interfere in this situation? Erica, please, Erica, please, please. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay, but now I'm bleeding to death. Okay, but I'm still bleeding to death. Okay, we got some shit in here. Special found. Oh, that's definitely something. I'm gonna try this as well. I... Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, that's not good. Erica is barely hanging on. Okay, we got some adrenaline back. <gasps> Steak dinner! Can we perchance get all our health back? Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay, we're learning. We're learning. Okay, now we're still getting something from sight. I'm gonna bet it's that. God damn it! Salad obtained. Alright. God, this fucking game. Okay, maybe we should... Should we listen to our relaxing music? No, we're okay. I, I saw no warning there, chat. Okay, she's about to have a heart attack, so... I should probably I should I should probably check that she's okay. The fact that they don't have um chill music when they when you use the relaxing CD is devastating. Jesus! Oh god! Oh what is that? Uh can I beat it to death? It seems kind of slow. So maybe I can just escape? Hey, hurry up! Ha! Okay, I'm gonna have my salad because she's really hurt. I'm not getting any, like, any sensor markers in here, and yet, shit keeps popping out at me. Newspaper clipping three obtains. Mass homicide at Chateau Banballo. Owner, Mr. Banballo, mysteriously disappeared. Mercilessly murdered bodies were found at the Chateau Banballo, burned, all identified as young guests. Mr. Bamballo, the hotel owner, is missing. Details are still under investigation. Mr. Bamballo's diary was found at the site. Hatred directed toward the guest who caused the fire filled the pages. The state police are searching. Uh, the state police are searching for their suspect, Mr. Bamballo. God damn it. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Not beer bottles! Okay, oh fuck, that took a lot of health. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, god damn it. Yes, okay. played even though I tagged it and I wish that would happen more Ch what Ch what the fuck happened bleeding again <sighs> okay, chat. I think that's all, I think that's all the ill bleed I got in me for tonight. I am gonna I'm, I'm I'm gonna go chill. But what I would say is during the course of this episode, the new versus wolves podcast just dropped. Uh, let me tell you, it is a wild fucking time. So if you have been looking forward to that, then uh, go check that out. All right, guys, listen. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. Um, no stream next Friday. It's going to be next Thursday instead. Uh, we're maybe going to play some Tekken, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, listen, you have a lovely weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.